Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Hello, family. Welcome back, y'all. Of course, to all of my new subscribers and new followers. Hey, everybody. Hello. Welcome. And to my tribe and family at large, welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video. Yes, indeed. Of course, y'all know Thursday night, Thursday night, Thursday night, y'all listen. And tomorrow night, we are having uh, having um, Pastor Kevin L. A. Ewing on tomorrow night. Listen, y'all, you do not want to miss the Thursday night live stream tomorrow night. Come on here at five p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is going to be an outstanding dynamic stream this man when i tell you this man of god breaks it all the way down there will be no question in your mind if uh narcissism is it a spirit or a person i want to see you there let's pack the chat out all right y'all listen bring your notebooks because he is going deep on tomorrow okay thursday night thursday night thursday night if you're missing it you need to be there all right and of course every time we drop a video on the channel uh, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, plus, plus. All right. If you rock with your girl, if you rock with your girl, I need you to hit that like button. Hit that like button. All right, y'all. Let's jump into the topic of this video. I want to jump into this because I've not covered um, <clears throat> dreams on, uh, on my channel. Um, but I want to talk about it. And the reason I haven't is because, you know, there are a lot of people that, uh, you know, like to get into the whole, um, I'm not a new age person, so I don't get into a lot of uh, the dream interpretations or whatever. I only do what I've been graced to do. Now, when it comes to dreams on a surface level, <clears throat> and then sometimes a little bit of interpretation as, you know, as God gives me uh, the grace to do so. Uh, I have I have been able to do that a bit as well. Now, I want to talk about when uh, narcissists show up in your dreams, okay? First, let me talk about, I need to give you a little, little backdrop as to the spiritual world, which is the celestial world that we talk about or sometimes I mention in the videos. The spirit world is the parent world to this world. Okay, and when we're talking about dreams, dreams are really this is what you have to understand about you as a person. When you sleep at night, the thing or the part of you that does not sleep is your subconscious mind. Consciously, you are asleep, subconsciously, you are still awake. Your subconscious is what's connected to the uh, to the spiritual realm, okay? Now, people have their own uh, interpretations of what dreams mean coming from a scientific um, aspect or what have you. You know, here in the Western world, we have, um, we have an issue with just kind of, you know, intellectually explaining away what is actually spiritual. Now, in the Eastern worlds and in the ancient cultures, a lot of these cultures know, you know, that it's it's like breakfast talk about dreams. It's breakfast talk about different things supernaturally happening in their lives. But over here in the Western world, not so much. And that's very unfortunate because a lot of times we walk around blind you know, to spiritual things. And we're, oh, well, you know, they said that, you know, we we heard this doctor talking about it. And I'm not nullifying <clears throat> the doctor's knowledge or anything. Please believe that. But I'm coming to you from a, a spiritual perspective. When a narcissist starts to show up in your dreams. Okay. So most of the time, this is going to happen when you have uh, just recently probably had a discard with the narcissist. It's usually after the breakup. Sometimes these dreams will actually happen when you are with the narcissist. Now, what you have to understand is that there is a spirit behind this. Okay. There's a spirit behind it. And anytime you're talking about a person appearing in your dreams. <clears throat> now, when you're awake 
And you're probably sitting there like, man, I've been away from this clown. I don't know how long. And why, you know, and I, I haven't been thinking about them. I've actually been doing, you know, doing better, trying to get myself together, do whatever it is I need to do for me. You know, I haven't been focused on this clown at all. All of a sudden, this person appears in my dream. There's a reason for that. Now, I'm going to I'm going to show you something. And if you and and what I'm going to tell you, I'm a, I'm a I'm going to show you an example of how you know it's true. Usually when a narcissist turns up in your dream, it's because they've usually been thinking very heavily on you, okay? They've been thinking very heavily on you and they're not able to contact you in the natural, okay? And when I say in the natural, meaning that you've gone no contact with them, maybe you've changed your phone number. Um, I mean, some of y'all went blackout on these clowns. I mean, y'all just was like, you know what? These crows will not be finding me. Okay, they will not be finding me. So you've made a concerted effort to make sure that you literally have no contact with these crows. All right. So here's the deal. Now, they can just like you can sit and I'm going to tell you, this is how it's true. How many of y'all going to testify in the comment section? Okay, that you have thought of someone because I've done it a lot of times. I mean, it, it, I, 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 I can't even tell you how many times this has happened. You've thought of someone and you're like, oh, I wonder how so-and-so is doing. Or I wonder uh, how this person or that person is doing. You know, I really like to hear from. Next thing you know, you get a text message from the person. Next thing you know, you get a phone call from the person. You understand what I'm saying? Or you may run into the person somewhere. There's a reason for that. Okay, the reason for that, especially if you say it out of your mouth, that means that you've been thinking on them. Now, people don't may not be familiar with the term, but let me just say there's a thing called calling someone in the spirit realm. And you don't have to necessarily say their name, but you can begin to think on them. Okay, now here's the deal. Here's the revelation that I want you to see that, that I want you to understand that thought process or that particular principle works in the dream world as well. Now, I'm going to tell you the caveat to it because we're dealing with demonic spirits. OK, because we're dealing with a enemy that likes to hide and likes to go in what I call incognito operation. This is why you see a narcissist appearing in your dream. It's it, a lot of times it's a uh, it's a uh, attempt for the enemy to use his super the, use the principal rule of being able to think on someone, but being able to attack you in the realm of the spirit. And when I say that, I'm saying when they when they appear in your dreams, a lot of times you probably you all will probably testify that it's uh, either you were having some type of argument with them or it was something like you um, or some of y'all may have may have had like a sexual type of uh, encounter with them in the dream or you may have even seen them out with the new supply or whatever. Any time it doesn't matter because going into the details about those particular issues, that's a whole nother video. But the fact that they are appearing is because in your in, in your dreams, in your conscious mind, when you are awake every day, where you have control of your thoughts and your thought processes, you're getting stronger where the enemy is not able to infiltrate your thoughts with the rumination so much anymore so what he has to do in order to try to keep you distracted by this demonic force called a narcissist is that he has to hit you in your weakest state i'm telling you i need y'all to hit that like button I'm telling you he gotta hit you at your weak weakest state and what is that that's when you sleep why because your spirit man never sleeps Okay, your, your, your subconscious mind never sleeps. Your spirit man never sleeps. Your soul, which houses your mind, your will, your emotions. Well, your subconscious is part of your mind. That part of you never, ever sleeps. Okay, so in order to hit you blindsided, he has to get you in your dreams. You understand what I'm saying? And the whole mission goal and purpose is to just 
put this thing back on your conscious mind so he can regain control. I'm talking about the enemy now. So the enemy can regain control of your conscious thoughts and put them back on this narcissist. Oh, bam, that is right there. I need y'all to share this video. I need y'all to hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button, because this right here is some revelation for some of you all. That your dreams are literally pictures of what's happening to you in the realm of the spirit. Remember, the spirit realm is made, it is, it is levels and dimensions, okay? In the in the spirit realm. But this is how a narcissist, by way of their demonic power, because of the the uh, the spirits that are that are uh controlling them you understand what i'm saying they use it all they got to do is just start thinking on you and this don't even get me started about if you were involved with one that was a witch or a warlock or you know sorcerer or whatever you got a whole nother situation because they can actually be they can actually put stuff on an altar to cause your dreams to be a certain type of way you understand what i'm saying they could torment you literally in their in uh, your dreams with their presence okay and i know y'all gonna testify in the comment section below this right here is some information that you need to know and this is not any uh, new age or anything like that no this is just what happens in the realms of the spirit you need to understand this is why you have to fortify yourself by the word of god prayer uh, fasting, you know, supplication, because what you do when you are awake, okay, as far as fortifying your spirit man is going to determine how much strength you have for the battle when you're asleep. You understand what I'm saying? Because if nothing is inside of you that has gotten down into the cores of your soul and your subconscious mind, you ain't going to stand a chance when you fall asleep at night. That bird is going to jump. I'm telling you that jump, that Chinese crested is going to jump up in your dreams. And this is how the enemy keeps you attached and keeps you going over and over in ruminating thoughts as well it's hitting you blindsided in the dream world because he can't get through to you in in your conscious state when you're awake every day why because you're working hard on on working out and keeping yourself busy and not thinking about the narcissist and healing and becoming whole and then as soon as you feel like you have gotten there and you you kind of oh i don't need to uh pray as much i don't need to read my word as much i don't need to do that that's when that's when the enemy comes and bam hits you with that y'all hit that like button family hit it hit it okay this is why you need to understand that this situation with a narcissist narcissistic abuse while it is considered by the world standard domestic violence i 100 percent agree with that but you must understand that this type of abuse is a it's absolutely an attack on your entire existence okay i need you and and spiritually at at, uh, included in that you understand what I'm saying you're not going to be able to really truly heal from narcissistic abuse without understanding the spirit world and without understanding how this this uh, narcissist was able to get in in the first place but this right here is why they are showing up in your dreams it's almost some people like to call it a um uh, the hoovering in your dreams but what i like to call it is a spiritual hoover okay this is a spiritual hoover because a lot of times and even if you're with them uh sometimes and you're thinking or you're uh you're dreaming about them and you're dreaming about horrible things that may have happened with the narcissist all that is a lot of times is that is you're being warned okay a lot of times what happens with that is that you're being warned in your dreams that okay this part this person has is not a good person and a lot of times this these types of dreams can happen 
uh, when the devaluation starts and you start to, you know, things start to run through your mind, racing thoughts or whatever. And you're like, hmm, why did they do that? Or why did they say that? Then you go to sleep at night and have a dream that they did something really crazy or they were cheating on you or something like that. A lot of times uh, that that right there is a spiritual warning from the most high trying to let you know that this right here is not good. You need to stop and you need to pay close attention to what's happening. A lot of times we just write it off. And a lot and and then when you are in these dreams, when the narcissist attacks you in your dreams in this spiritual hoover because that's what it is, that's what I call it, okay? A spiritual hoover because it hits you blindsided in your dreams. A lot of times what you need to understand is that this is a way for you to really, you, you have to be able to open your eyes and see what's happening. And don't just write it off. Oh, this, I just had this. Mm -mm. No, no, you have to pay close attention to your dreams because that's an indication of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. And what is, and usually, and I know y'all gonna testify, Usually, once you have a dream like that, you'll see something crazy manifest in the natural. And what the enemy is, is trying to get you to do, especially when you've left the narcissist and you're no longer, you no longer have contact with them or anything like that, and the enemy hits you uh, in your dream because the narcissist is sitting there thinking about you and the enemy decides to t attack you in this way, a lot of times they'll bring sexual dreams with the narcissist to you when you're sleeping at night and what he wants you to do is come into agreement in that dream your spirit come into agreement in that dream and how do you come into agreement with it when you get up you don't get up and say I rebuke that dream in the name of Jesus so if you don't rebuke it if you don't say that I, I you know what I bind that in the name of Jesus guess what by default of you not saying anything, you came into agreement with that dream. And so therefore, what you'll start to see is a is a natural gravitational pull to this narcissist. Hit that like button, please. I know y'all gonna testify. I know you gonna testify. In the comment section, you will start to feel a natural gravitational pull back to this narcissist and you don't know why next thing you know the narcissist will show up in a hoover naturally and what do you, you and a lot of you probably gonna testify i found myself right back in that mess again that's how the enemy pulls you that's how he manipulates you and that's how he keeps you caught up in this cycle and these these uh toxic damaging cycles with these sociopaths and psychopath narcissists i'm telling you this is a sneak attack this is a spiritual hoover and you need to pay close attention to it this is why they are appearing in your in your dreams i need y'all to hit that like button and I need y'all to share this video because I need you to understand that you are not to ignore your dreams, period. Especially when it comes to something like this. This person literally tried to, I mean, they tried to hijack your soul. You know what I'm saying? Your will and everything else. You can't just be on some, oh, well, you know, I'm not. No, you got to really pay attention. All right. So I wanted to put this information out here for you, family. Y'all, please send this information around. Let me see you. I want to see you tomorrow night on the uh, Thursday night live stream, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, family. Until the next video, I love you all. Pay a close attention to what's being said in this video, okay? I love you all, and I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all heal and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.